In this film, we're just looking at the simple way to use um, layers to add a fog effect within the photograph by using the blend modes. So as I've got here, basically um, camera shot JPEG, just obviously lit in the studio, nothing too dynamic except for the light and obviously the look and the feel. Um, but then I just found some free fog um, PNG uh, um, images online. Uh, obviously may, uh, make sure that you can use them in copyright if you're going to be using them for commercial reasons. Um, here though I've just basically copied it in and uh, if it was in its uh, normal mode um, basically it would look like this. So in other words um, it would just be too full on the black would be black, the clouds would be clouds, and so on and so on with it, yeah. Um, so basically, these are really easy to make uh, by shooting the likes of a deep blue sky with fluffy clouds, and then basically turning them into monochrome. You can make some great cloud effects, even though it looks like smoke. So as you've seen already, though, the basically the secret of this technique is the blend mode. And so you could uh, go through the different blend modes and see, uh, see them, but when you need to make something uh, just affect the lights and the brights, then obviously we know we're gonna go either into the screen mode or into the soft light and the likes of. In this case, it's gonna be the screen mode. So just clicking onto that. And then all we've gotta do, if we've got our auto um, select on, so in other words, in the move tool, you've got options here to click on or off the auto, uh, the auto select. And when the auto select is ticked, you can choose whether it's going to be a group or a layer. In this case, because I've got no groups within the folder or within the image, it's going to just uh, affect the layer. So by default, if you want, you can actually leave this on group. Um, then all I'm going to do is actually start to move this around the image to uh, put it in the position that I want. Then I found another smoke uh, effect, did exactly the same thing as you can see the uh, screen here, but now at full effect it's just a little bit too much i've got two options really one is to either add a mask to the side and then basically with a brush b uh, and then d to put the default colors back together and then x to put black on top right bracket to make the kind of uh, brush a little bit bigger and i can start to actually paint if you are going to paint probably use a much lower opacity to actually affect it. Same same thing applies, of course. If you want to add a mask to the bottom layer, then you can kind of start to actually kind of paint it in and out. What I would suggest, though, if you are going to use a mask and you think you still don't know quite the position of where the smoke is going to be, then when you have created the uh, mask, then unlink it. So that means that you can still go ahead and move the actual fog around without actually uh, affecting the... Uh, mask itself and things really okay if you've got multiple layers go in and you find that the auto select is picking on the wrong layer then you can either right click select the layer that you want in this case I want layer one and then all I need to do is press and hold the control key and then it only moves that layer right so with that knowing in the basic skill what how, how we can actually uh, achieve the same uh, the same thing what we're going to do, in fact, is actually just move these two layers across onto a different image to see what it's like on darks. Now, because I've um, already got a mask attached to these image, you can see as I dragged it across, so you can either alt backspace to fill it with black, which obviously doesn't show any of the effect. So that would mean you'd need white paint to reveal it, or you can use the control key to backspace it to actually put it in place. So in other words, just select it on the mask, in this case, fill it with white, and then basically at uh, the back space, that shows it all. Remember, in this case, I wanna work with layer one, pressing the hold the control key, dragging this down, same thing applies now, but because I know it's gonna grab the top layer, I can just kinda of drag it down anyway. If I didn't want it to go across the face, once more, B for brush, D for default, X to put black on top, start to actually paint through the face, back with the move tool, pressing control, and we get our image beginning to work. And then of course, if you wanna uh, kind of add some little bit more stylized effects in towards here, we could go shift control alt E perhaps to give us a layer um, with um, all visible layers. Let's duplicate that again for control J, and then we're just gonna go into filter, red, uh, and perhaps give it a lens flare. My light is coming in from the right-hand side. 
So let's just take it slightly off to the edge and just basically give us the effect as if it's kind of coming through. Once more though, grab yourself a mask, uh, B for the brush, because I've already got the um, colors uh, set to black and white. I can start to actually just go in now and remove the uh, flare if we don't want it to come across the actual figure because there's some green dots going on there. And uh, if I wanted to add more fog on the top, of course, just by either dragging, uh, dragging the Alt key and moving the layer up, we've duplicated it. Or of course you could have done Control J and then it would have duplicated itself and then you just move it up the rank, uh, the ranking. So uh, again, once more, just because that is full um, of the effect and we masked it out. I can clear that mask, control backspace, and then I can go once more and start to actually paint on the image that I don't want it to have the same effect with. So it's a quick way to actually add the likes of a fog to the image to give a little bit more drama.